have you ever wondered why on earth am I single? I think this happens to a lot of us when we're single. So we start in these moments or maybe we do want a relationship. We start fantasizing what it would be like. We start missing maybe our ex or someone to even go hang out with, someone to have a conversation with, someone to snuggle with. After the showreel, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and my experiences and things that might be able to help you. So stay tuned. <laughs> you can't feel too much. <laughs> so let me tell you, I travel a lot. And one of the things I notice is often I'm so glad that I'm single because I can do what I want, where I want, go wherever I want, whenever I want. But then I get these moments right? Where I wonder, how on earth am I single? Even though I am traveling a lot. Have you ever wondered why you're not in a relationship? And I found one of two things can happen is either we start saying what I'm doing right now, like, yes, I'm glad I'm single because I can do what I want. And I feel strong and powerful and confident. And then there are these moments where we start going, hmm, and our brain can get in our way and start saying, well, maybe I'm too much, right? Have you ever thought you're too much? You're too loud, you're too strong, you're too demanding, you're too particular about what you want in a relationship. Maybe you think that you work too much or maybe it's something about the way you want family or that your values are too strong or that your values are too, you like going out too much. And so it's hard to find a relationship. I would challenge you to stop that thinking. I'll tell you what, I've been told I'm all of those things. I'm too much, I work too much. If I would just settle down, if I would just be a little calmer, if I would just focus more, if I would stay in one place, then I could find the relationship, right? But what is they're really saying underneath, even though they don't realize they're saying it is, be less. Don't be yourself. And that's not the message I wanna leave with you. The message I want you to have is, the perfect person for you will love you just as you are. Not to say there's not gonna be disagreements or arguments or there's not gonna be little challenges along the way. Of course, every relationship has some kind of challenge, right? Things you have to work through, things you have to negotiate. However, if you change something for somebody else often, or you overlook something that somebody else has that bothers you, that tends to be the thing that will eventually break you up anyway. So know that you never want to be less than for somebody. Your perfect person should always be encouraging you to be more, learn more, do more, express more. Be more authentically you, be vulnerable, be sad when you need to be sad, be extravagantly happy and obnoxious when you need to be extravagantly happy and obnoxious, right? Another thing that I notice is sometimes as single people, we decide we want a relationship and we start looking for a relationship. And in fact, we want a relationship so much that we're willing to settle for someone that doesn't treat us well, that doesn't respect who we are as individuals, perhaps someone that doesn't give us time, that doesn't have all the traits that we need or enjoy or deserve, that pushes us to do, to move too fast, that pushes us to move too slow, that, that does things that really don't align with who we are. So I challenge you, second point, even though you really sometimes want a relationship and you just want somebody around, just want someone to snuggle with, find other ways to get those needs met. So if that means you need touch, find a cuddle partner, whether that be a friend or there's things called professional cuddlists that actually you pay to just cuddle. You can go get a massage, you can go get a pedicure, have someone rub your hands, snuggle with an animal, all of these things can help you get your touch needs met instead of jumping into a relationship, right? Because we, we also don't want, and this is kind of my third point, is we don't want a toxic relationship. I think sometimes we're afraid that this is all there is. We get taught there's no good people around left, or we see a lot of people in okay relationships, like they're happy, they're doing okay. 
And so we think, oh, this is what a relationship looks like. It's a lot of arguing. It's a lot of struggle. Um, there's some name calling. There's some whatever. And we start settling in a relationship that maybe isn't the healthiest. So I urge you, don't settle. The timing may not be what you want, but that perfect person is out there. So don't talk yourself into the next relationship just because they're there. Don't talk yourself into the next person just because they like you. Everybody likes to be liked. Everybody loves to be adored, right? It's nice to have somebody around that really, really wants to be with you, but that does not mean that you have to be with them. Does that make sense? And vice versa. So that also means if you want to be in a relationship with somebody and they say no, it's not about you. It's about them taking care of themselves and you should actually be happy that they were willing to be honest with you and communicate clearly and upfront to not waste your time or theirs in a relationship or in um, getting together and spending a bunch of time and getting really connected when it wasn't going to work anyway. So if you're single, those are the three things to watch for, right? And three ways to take care of yourself. Number one, know what you want. Don't become less than for somebody else. In fact, write down all the traits you want in a partner that would make you be even more, even more powerful, even more stunning and have a better and more rich life. Write that down. In fact, add that in the comments below. What would a perfect partner have that would make you so happy. Number two, take care of yourself in whatever way you need. Don't jump into a relationship just to get, for example, your touch needs met or to have someone to converse with. Find ways to get that in your friendships, in meetup groups, in uh, business collaborations, or through hiring a massage therapist or somebody if you need something around touch. And number three, don't get into a toxic relationship or something that doesn't suit just to be in a relationship. And if someone says no to you, that's okay. Thank them for saving you time, money, energy, effort, and heartbreak down the road because you don't need to change for somebody else just like they shouldn't have to change for you. I hope you found value in this. I've got some other videos for singles and for people in relationships. Also, I'd encourage you to subscribe if you want more. Thanks so much. Have a lovely day. Namaste. Be loved.